Thermal design of tube and shell heat exchanger and verification by HTRI software. Abstract heat exchangers are the devices used to transfer heat from one fluid to another. Fluids can be either gases or liquids. Plate heat exchanger, double pipe heat exchanger, shell and tube heat exchanger, condensers, evaporators and boilers are the most common types of heat exchangers. They are widely used in petroleum refineries, sewage treatment, air conditioning, power station, space heating, and petrochemical plants. Tube and shell tube and shell heat exchanger is type of heat exchanger in which two fluids which are at different temperatures are separated by solid wall. This article includes thermal design calculation and verification of all the process parameters which are required for proper functioning of the compressor system as a whole. The design calculations of tube and shell heat exchanger are verified by HTRI. Heat Transfer Research Incorporated Software This is the software for the rating, design, and slash or simulation of a wide variety of heat transfer equipment, including shell and tube and non-tubular exchangers, air coolers, and economizers, and fired heaters. Keywords Tube and Shell Heat Exchanger, HTRI, Temperature, Compressor Introduction Industries often use compressed gases such as air, hydrogen, acetylene, oxygen, methane, etc. The volume required of these compressed gases is very high so it is required to compress these gases efficiently. For this reason intercoolers are used. Intercoolers are placed after compression or between two stages of compression. Intercoolers can be placed horizontally or vertically but horizontal intercoolers are more effective thus horizontal intercoolers generally used. Intercoolers are generally placed in between two stages of compression as it cools down the hot fluid before sending it to second compression. Thus volume of fluid decreases which increases the volumetric capacity and decreases the work done by motor. Following are the functions of an intercooler used in compressor. Atmospheric air contains moisture, and furthermore, the air may pick up oil vapor as it passes through some parts of the compressors. Cooling air down to or below its initial temperature will remove moisture down to the dew point, improving the quality of the air. Intercoolers improve the efficiency of compressor. As the volume of hot air reduces on cooling volumetric efficiency increases. Methodology Problem Identification Selection of a Heat Exchanger Thermal Design Verification of Design Problem Statement To cool down the air from thermal design of heat exchanger based on the input parameters which are given in the specification sheet and verification of design i.e. verification of the overall heat transfer coefficient also, finding out the acceptability of the pressure drop. Selection of Heat Exchanger Thermal design of the heat exchanger, intercooler, is according to the Kearns method. It is simple to apply, accurate enough for preliminary calculations. The selection criteria for the heat exchanger, design procedure, and its calculations are discussed in the subsequent sections selection criteria for shell and tube heat exchanger. Materials of construction. Operating pressure and temperature. Flow rates. Flow arrangements. Fouling tendencies. Maintenance, inspection cleaning, extension, overall efficiency, shell, shell is the cylindrical vessel container through which fluid flows and the tube bundle is placed inside the shell, shells are usually casted from standard steel pipe with satisfactory corrosion allowance, boot type shell type is selected, it is simple in construction and easy to clean as it has floating rear end head thus tube sheet can be easily removed for cleaning, tube and tube layout, the enough tube thickness ensures that it will bear the internal pressure along with the adequate corrosion allowance. Longer tube lesses the shell diameter at the expense of higher shell pressure drop. Stainless steel, copper, bronze, and alloys of copper nickel are the commonly used tube materials. The shortest center to center distance between the adjacent tubes is pitch. The general pattern of tubes is square or triangular pattern. The tube count is the number of tubes that can be accommodated in a given shell ID. For this application triangular layout is selected as it is more effective and easy to clean. No of passes. To obtain greater heat transfer CO efficient and also to reduce scale formation, number of passes is chosen to get the required tube side fluid velocity. The tube passes vary from 1 to 16. A single tube pass is selected for the design. Baffle. Liquid is maintained in a state of turbulence ensures the higher heat transfer coefficients. The turbulence is induced outside the tubes which cause the liquid to flow at right angles to the axis of the tubes. This causes considerable turbulence even when a small amount of liquid flows through the shell. One from the various types of baffles is used to increase the fluid velocity by diverting the flow across the tube bundle to obtain higher transfer CO efficient. The distance between adjacent baffles is called baffle spacing. 
The segmental baffle used in design shown in the figure 4. The percent cut for segmental baffle refers to the cutaway height from its diameter. Design verification. The software results look like figure number 6. The main parameter which will be verified is the overall heat transfer coefficient, heat duty, and pressure drop. The difference between calculated value and HTRI value of overall heat transfer coefficient and heat duty, heat exchanged, is less than 10% which is acceptable. Calculated value and HTRI value of shell side presure drop and tube inside presure drop are less than allowable pressure drop hence the values of the calculated parameters are verified. Conclusion At first thermal design is done by using Kern's method. The input parameters are taken from specification sheet. The values of overall heat transfer coefficient, heat duty, pressure drop, are obtained. HTRI software is used to verify analytical thermal design. It gives close results as that of obtained from thermal design. The comparison between calculated values and software obtained values concludes the verification of the parameters. The proven theoretical methods are in good agreement with the software results. Fig 6, HTRI Result 13 Future Scope HTRI incorporates a user-friendly interface that reduces time and increases efficiency. It can load a case from CD or a read-only directory. If a user loads a case marked as read-only, HTRI opens and runs the case. The results are given by the software are in less time as compared to manual calculations. HTRI can estimate the shell weight. It has an approximation procedure for estimating the weight. It does not rigorously determine the material needed to construct the shell but rather divides the diameter into suitable portions. The values obtained are reasonable but not exact. Thus after all the input is put in the software, it generates the results which can further be used for analyzing them with required output. If found satisfactory user may move ahead with the design or he shall again change the input values and obtain the required results.